Hey guys, I am back. Sorry, I've been gone for a while. I was um, on a houseboat in Lake Powell and I work hard and I play hard and my hands are full of boo-boos and blisters because that's what I do. Uh, cliff jumping, skiing, tubing, exploring, hiking, you name it, I did it. Slept under the stars, it was amazing and I'm now back. So anyways, I had a great vacation, um, but I got a request from, i am see if I pronounce this right, Raphael. Um, he's my new friend from France. He's awesome. Uh, I've never met him, but um, he likes to watch my videos and I love his messages. And he speaks French, I speak English, and I try to Google translate what he types, and I try to Google translate back, which probably sounds like gibberish to him, but I do my best. Anyways, maybe someday we'll meet. Maybe I'll go to France. Been there before, twice, and probably will go back again someday. Awesome place. All right, to get started, we are doing, he wanted a Dementor from Harry Potter. And so we are going to start with the base. This you want, I'm going to draw a little harder, just so you can see what I'm doing. But you want to do it softly because we're just going to put the shape in of under the clothes. So let's get started. So right here, we're just going to put in where we're going to be putting in a head. We're going to put clothes on him, but this is for his head and his little neck. And we are going to put in his, like he has a shoulder. And we're going to put his bony arm. So this is part of his arms. We want to put this lightly. And this is his other arm because we're going to be putting clothes on him. This is like his bones. And then we're going to have his hand come out here. So his fingers are going to be all bony. So you don't want him to look all lovely as can be. We're going to put some bony little fingers in there. So this is his little bony finger coming out with his bony thumb. I do have some fun facts on them. Um, if I can do this while I'm drawing. And then he has one little finger behind. And then have his another finger behind making it kind of wobbly because we don't want it to look all good and I put in little marks in there if you want to make it even more bumpy you can and then put some this is where like the little joints are a piece of the bone and then put some little joints in there put little marks in there make it look see how it looks all decrepit yes all right so we're gonna come on this side this is kind of like his shoulder and now we're gonna put his bones in there. Put this lightly. I'm doing it dark so you can see. This is like one bone. This is his other bone. And now we're gonna put his hand coming off of this side. So he's got his little thumb. I'm making it very decrepit and bony. And then have his other thumb. And I saw lots of pictures on how they're they might be looking, and this is the one that I liked. Okay, so that's his little bony hand, and then now you want to put just some lines in here so it looks like the bones and some joint marks. Okay, so now let's just put in his torso. So right here, just so we know his body's there. So now we are going to go and put the draping cloth on top. So right here, I want you to put, this is gonna be where the opening is, where they're gonna be sucking out the soles. And I'm gonna have you, you can sharpie it in later. But this is gonna be dark right there. Now we're gonna put the clothes on top. So on top of here, you don't wanna make it too perfect because it's just clothes. So I'm not making it perfect. This is just his outer clothing. If you wanna make it like that. Now let's erase. Actually, let's put over his bones, the shoulder bone. And we're going to come over here. This is going to be the other shoulder bone. Putting cloth on top of that. And we're going to erase in there in a second. So now we can erase all that. Not the fingers and not the opening. But we can erase the rest of it. Now that we know where that is. So dementors are the most evil creatures in Harry Potter. Nobody likes a dementor. No, 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 no. They're scary, scary. Okay. So we got rid of those arms. Okay, so now I'm gonna put his draping. So on here, now you can make it look however you want. This is just the material come billowing off. And we're gonna put the opening right here of his 
arm here. So right here, I want you to color it in. Actually, what did I do that for? We want the arm to go all the way through so it looks like it's sticking out. But behind here, this is where it is open. Okay, that's the opening of it. And now you want to just put material that's ragged and billowing. And you can make it look however you want. So I'm just making it come out like little fingers of material. Make some longer. Little pieces sticking out, shorter. Okay, come up to where his body part is. So you can add some wrinkles in there. So if you just wanna add some wrinkles, maybe some shredded to make it look like it has like it's holy, I'm just put little um, holes in here. So it looks like the material's been through a lot. Do you see how it looks all holy? And you can add as much lines as you want. Okay, so that's the one arm. So now let's do the other arm. So his bone is gonna be coming up. So we actually wanna see this. That's his bone. And then now we're gonna put in that draping hole and this will be sharpied in or colored really hard with colored pencil. Just show you so you can see what it looks like. So now we're gonna put the material coming over it. Make it come around, so jump over. And it's gonna come up, okay? So that's his like other arm and he has his shoulder coming out. And now you can put material that's just coming off of here. What else do we know about him? Okay, Dementors for years were the guards for Azkaban prison. And we know that that's like the worst place to be for any wizard. They pretty much all just die in there. Now, let's put some of the material that's coming down here so it looks like it's draping. And you can put some more lines in here. Almost looks like veins, but it's not. And then you could put some more lines in here. I'm going to erase just this bottom part. We're going to be, the rest is just going to be material that's draped over. Okay. Um, dementors, oh, I learned something new. Dementors aren't born, but they grow like fungi in the darkest places, creating a dense and chilly fog. Hmm. I wondered where they came from. So I'm just making these lines coming off and you can make them swoosh down here. And yours could be any shape they want. Because of course, it's just billowing. And then here, now you're just gonna start making the little extra material coming off of it because there's no legs on it. It's just gonna be coming out. And um, so what they do is they feed, make some more on human emotions and they suck out all happiness. And you're like, well, what happens when they just keep sucking and sucking? They actually suck out your soul and it is called the Dementor's Kiss of Death. Dementor's Kiss. And one thing I learned, so when they suck out your soul, guess what? You will never become a ghost because you have no soul. So just keep coming with the billowing. So when they suck it, they suck it. That kind of sounds funny. So let's make some more lines in here. And Mug, uh, I mean, wizards can see, see it? Not squibs, but um, wizards can. And muggles cannot see it, but they can feel it and have the same effect. So they know something's there. So that's kind of like it's billowing. If you want to add some little lines in here, make this go down like that. And I'm going to add a few more coming off here. So let's have this come a few more pieces coming out here. So let's see. Oh, they leave. So once you're doing it, they leave you in a the, the body because there's no soul inside into a vegetated state. So it's like a vegetable. There's like, there's nothing to it. And um, they can't, dementors can't be destroyed. So what is it that makes them go away? It is the Patronus charm. And everybody like talks about, oh, what's gonna be your, what's your Patronus? And so I always joke around, my Patronus is either an owl or a chipmunk. So who knows? What would be yours? I'm curious, what would be, you guys can comment, tell me what your Patronus would be. And um, what do we take? What, what do they give people if they've been 
starting to get sucked, it's chocolate, which is perfect. Chocolate's like their first aid, it's a remedy. Um, that helps them. Okay, so what I did now is I just did uh, the Sharpie. I just used the Ultra Fine Sharpie, and all I used is gray and black, and I did do a little tan in there to make it look like it's more lifelike. I colored that in, but that was pretty much it. That's it, that's the Dementor. So, um, Raphael, I hope that you like this, and um, hope you guys have an amazing day. Peace out, see you later.